Hey guys, it's uh, humid, it's warm, and it's about to rain, a lot of rain. So I noticed the cherry moya here is loaded with, uh, with flowers. So I'm gonna quickly go around and give it uh, my best shot, the first uh, hand pollination for 2022 and uh, hopefully it works I haven't had much luck with hand pollinating but uh, I'm not gonna give up guys just gonna keep on keeping on there's literally hundreds of flowers maybe a thousand and it's a real shame that I can't even get one to um, to work, right? I don't know why it can't be simple as other fruit trees. Can you imagine having uh, 200 cherry moya all by, by themselves without doing anything? That would be nice. Well, guess what? That's how, it's, that's how it um, works in a certain part of the world. I'm not sure what that beetle is. It's some kind of beetle, some kind of bug that's native. I think it's uh, Central America or South America. And you don't have to do anything. Yeah, that bug, beetle, whatever, does all the work for you. Look at that, nice fat, plump flowers. And uh, they're all gonna drop to the ground within uh, two or three days. If I don't um, hop to it. Anyway, you get the idea, right? Even all the way up to the top, I can't reach up there. I need a ladder. See those? And even higher, that one up there. Uh, two and a half meters high. So, it's crazy. I would enjoy this so much more if um, the success uh, rate was higher. So all I have is a little container, right? And a brush, which I already used on the custard apple earlier. Just a couple of flowers. And that's it, they're the tools. So I go around collecting pollen from the male flowers. You can see some bugs in there already in the uh, flowers that were collected with a with a pollen. And this is what the males look like. Like that one there. See that one? So you collect from there. I usually tap, tap, tap. And whatever comes down into the container. So, that's a male. They're all male, female, but at different times of the day, they switch, right? So, these are uh, female, I believe, the ones that you pollinate, these ones. And that one's a male, that's already spent. There's another female up there and that one looks like a male next to it yeah so let's get back to work so now with a brush I take the, um, the pollen that I collected right and I give it to the um, to the female so this is a mix of um, viable pollen and um, non viable which is the um, the brown part so whatever I can collect. And then you simply stick that up um, the female there, right? Like, it's better with two hands. Just rub it in into the female and hopefully some of it sticks. Yeah, half of it. Yeah, something like that, guys. 
there's some more I just collected. Looks like um, stigma or stemma. I can't remember which one is which, rather than uh, pollen. I don't have very good eyesight either. The camera helps. So I did about six or seven and I cut off the tips. See how uh, that's cut off there? So I know which one I've done. See how I've broken it off? Same there. Same there. So I'll just keep coming out here every day when it's not raining, of course, and just keep trying over and over and over and honing and practicing my um, hand pollination skills. By the way, um, I don't know if I told you guys, but I still have a cherry moya left over from last season. It hasn't fallen off yet. It's uh, a rogue. There it is there, see it? Yeah, from 2021 or um, the summer of 2021. 2020 2021 yeah thanks for watching guys we'll come back and uh, do this again um, over the coming weeks January and uh, February so I hope you enjoyed this um, I'm not very keen on doing this because of the low success rate it would be great every time I put the brush in there I got a, a cherry moya <laughs> unfortunately it's not working out for me but in any case thanks for watching please uh, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't and we'll see you from the next video